Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem involving roots? From here, we have square root of 8 raised to power 6 plus 8 raised to power x divided by 8 raised to power x plus 8 square equal to 8. From here, we can square both sides and we have square root of 8 raised to power 6 plus 8 raised to power x over 8 raised to power x plus 8 raised to power 2 we square this side then equals to here we square 8 as well we have 8 square then the square on this side we cancel the square root then we are left with 8 raised to power 6 plus 8 raised to power x divided by 8 raised to power x plus 8 square which is equal to let's leave this as 8 square then in the next step we can cross multiply from here we have this we multiply one still remain the same as 8 raised to power 6 plus 8 raised to power x then equal to 8 square we multiply this we have 8 raised to power 2 into bracket 8 raised to power x plus 8 raised to power 2 then in the next step we can open this side and this will give us 8 raised to power 6 plus 8 raised to power x will now be equal to 8 square times 8 raised to power x then plus 8 square times 8 square that is from here <coughs> of course let's collect you know the one with x to one side so we can take this to this side then take 8 raised to power 6 to that side so here we already have 8 raised to power x then minus 8 square times 8 raised to power x which is equal to on this side this is the same thing as 8 raised to power 2 plus 2 which is 8 raised to power 4 from here then we take 8 raised to power 6 here minus 8 raised to power 6 then from here we can factor 8 raised to power x out and this will remain 1 here then minus 8 square left here which is equal to on this side we can write this as 8 raised to power 4 minus 8 raised to power 4 times 8 raised to power 2 from the law of indices since that this power when they had of is still 8 raised to power 6 and then we can factor 8 raised to power 4 out so we have 8 raised to power x into brackets 1 minus 8 square then equals to 8 raised to power 4 out here then into bracket 1 left here minus 8 square then we have 1 minus 8 square common on both sides we can divide both sides like that and this we cancel out then we are left with 8 raised to power x which is equal to 8 raised to power 4 the base are equal then from here x equal to 4 so the value of x in this problem is x equal to 4 let's confirm if this will satisfy the given problem and substitute x equals to 4 in the given problem from here this will become square root of 8 raised to power 6 or x equals to 4 so we are going to have square root of 8 raised to power 6 plus 8 raised to power 4 that's the value of x we got then divided by 8 raised to power 4 then plus 8 square is this going to give us 8 from here then when we check we can write 8 raised to power 6 as that will be square root of 8 raised to power 4 times 8 raised to power 2 then we have plus 8 raised to power 4 here divided by from here we can also write 8 raised to power 4 at 8 square times 8 square then plus 8 square is this going to give us 8 from here then we can factor 8 raised to power 4 out from here we have 
8 raised to the power 4 into bracket 8 square left here then 1 left here plus 1 divided by here 8 square is common we have 8 square left here then plus 1 will be left here is this equal to 8 from here then we have this are the same thing here they cancel out then we are left with square root of 8 raised to the power 4 divided by 8 raised to the power 2 is this equals to 8 from here when we apply the law of indices here we subtract this power we have square root of 8 raised to the power 4 minus 2 is this equals to 8 then 4 minus 2 that's 2 so we have square root of 8 squared is this equals to 8 square cancel square root and 8 is therefore equals to 8 we have left hand side is equals to the right hand side then from here we can conclude and say the value of x in this given problem equals to 4 so thank you for watching don't forget these steps and subscribe for more exciting videos turn on the notification bell share this video give a thumbs up and uh, put your comment in the comment section thank you see you in the next class and bye for now